You're listening to Worth Electronics' What's Up radio podcast, where each week we are seeing what's up in the world of electronics and PCB design. We'll be checking in with leading industry experts and Worth Electronic technical specialists who will shine a light on our topics, such as energy harvesting, wireless power transfer, EMI issues, and so much more. Tune in to get technical design tips and applications during your commute, at your desk, or wherever you might be with Worth Electronics' What's Up podcast. In this episode, we are talking about the function of power modules. Our purpose is to provide an overview of the magic power modules from Worth Electronic and compare different power modules against other discrete solutions. We'll also discuss power module features and benefits, as well as explore applications for power modules. So let's start off with the basics. First, what is the function of a DC to DC converter? Well, a DC to DC converter converts a DC input voltage to a regulated or unregulated output voltage. The output voltage can be higher, lower, negative, or isolated to the input voltage. So now that we got that out of the way, what does this have to do with power modules and why would a designer use them? Well, simply put, with magic power modules, design engineers can save up to 75% of development time in comparison with a discrete solution. A shorter overall design cycle will result in a faster go-to-market. The magic modules are standard, off-the-shelf parts with wide input and output voltage ranges. They're built for 48, 36, 24, 12, and 5 volt rails, and perfect to use in industrial and medical applications. So if engineers start a new design and they compare the costs of a discrete solution against a power module, it could result in an overall cost saving. So the bomb cost of a DC to DC converter buildup with a power module is higher, but considering the time savings for such a modular design, it could decrease the overall cost. A regular discrete DC to DC converter design takes around 50 hours on average. Designing a DC to DC converter with a power module should decrease the development time to 20 hours. Additionally, the modules are already EMC tested and can reduce the time spent in EMC laboratories. Because of the internal buildup of the modules, the overall size of the application can be reduced to a minimum. All of these modules are built according to the EN55022 Class B standard. Class B is taken as the basis for the radiation values for information technology and for devices used in residential and commercial use. This covers the frequencies 150 kilohertz to 30 megahertz conducted for radio noise voltages and 30 megahertz to 1 gigahertz radiated for the radio interference field strength. When we compare discrete solutions versus power modules, there are clear advantages to the power module. First, discrete solutions are very flexible, while power modules are more user friendly. And unlike the discrete solutions, power modules are compact and offer a lower bomb count. Next, the discrete solutions have a longer design cycle than the power modules. And unlike the power modules, discrete solutions take up a large chunk of real estate on the PCB. And finally, as we previously discussed, with a discrete solution, EMC needs to be considered, whereas power modules turn EMC into EN55022 Class B. For some types of loads, it is important to have additional functions. For example, power goods signal for FPGA. Power modules, depending on type, have many features. They have adjustable switching frequencies between 0.2 MHz and 2 MHz. User selectable balance between efficiency and speed, avoiding unfavorable frequencies. They have an adjustable soft start, so no overshoot at the output and smooth inrush current. Additionally, they can include good power, which allows for sequencing and monitoring. Synchronization avoids interference and reduces input ripple currents. Another important feature is under voltage lockout, which helps avoid undefined behavior of the power module during input voltage failures. 
Finally, they include multiple protections, over temperature protection, over current protection, output over, and under voltage protection. The Worth Electronic FDSM power module is a very compact and simple fixed output voltage regulator. It is perfect to use for point of load applications with a 9 to 18 volt input. It's also perfect to use as a replacement for linear regulators in SIP3 package styles. The FDSM module already has the power inductor and input and output capacitors integrated, and it's available in two output voltages as well as two output currents. Worth Electronics VDRM family is a variable output voltage regulator module, and it's perfect to use in 6 volt to 42 volt step down converter applications. The output voltage range is from 0.8 to 24 volt with a power up to 36 watts. This makes this 2-263 type module perfect to use for medical and industrial devices. The max operating temperature of 105 degrees Celsius allows the usage in more critical applications such as DC motor controls. The sandwich design of the 2-263 package offers a very superior EMI behavior and excellent heat distribution. The VDRM family is a variable output voltage regulator module perfect to use in 3.3 to 5 volt step down converter applications. The output voltage range is from 0.8 to 3.6 volts with a power up to 14.4 watts. This makes this BQFN39 type module perfect to use in 3.3 volt or 5 volt POL applications, which is point of load, voltage supplies for FPGAs, and other controllers for medical and industrial devices. With its small size of just 11 millimeters by 9 millimeters and low profile of only 2.85 millimeters, this module is offering a PCB space saving solution. Worth Electronics VDRM family, the variable output voltage regulator module is perfect to use in 7 to 50 volt step down converter applications. The output voltage range is from 2.5 to 15 volts with currents up to 2.5 amps. This makes this a BQFN-41 type module perfect to use in point of load applications, voltage supplies for FPGAs, as well as other controllers for medical and industrial devices. Much like its counterpart, its small size of just 11 millimeters by 9 millimeters and low profile of 2.85 millimeters makes this module a PCB space saving solution. Besides the step down converter modules, Worth Electronic is also offering a constant current LED driver for a maximum load of 450 milliamps. It's perfect to drive individual LED spots or LED strings up to 16 LEDs in series. With a high max operating temperature, it is perfect to use not only for indoor and outdoor lighting, but also for lighting applications in more harsh and industrial environments. Worth Electronic also offers evaluation boards and reference designs for all power modules. They can be found at Worth Electronic Online as well as digikey.com and they're associated to each power module part number. There's a specific reference design that shows an LED driver application with analog dimming and output current of 1.5 amps max per LED. Worth Electronic is not only a manufacturer of these innovative products, but it's also their intention to transfer knowledge and expertise from a manufacturer to design engineers. You may have picked up on this information from listening to the WhatsApp podcast, but we've also released an application guide. It's called the ABCs of Power Modules. This guide includes functionality, structure, and handling of a power module, circuit topologies, technology, construction, and regulation technology, measuring methods, and selection of a power module. In summary, Worth Electronic is offering a full range of power modules with integrated inductors for step-down converters. The products are designed for the use in industrial, medical, test and measurement, and LED lighting applications. 
The modules are designed for a long life cycle and they can support engineers in the speed up of your design cycle. Finally, for all modules, evaluation boards, reference designs, and application notes are available. You can learn more about Worth Electronic Power modules online. Clickable links are available in most podcast streaming networks. To view all images and the presentation on this topic, visit our website at www.we-online.com slash podcast. You're listening to Worth Electronics What's Up radio podcast, where each week we are seeing what's up in the world of electronics and PCB design. We'll be checking in with leading industry experts and Worth Electronic technical specialists. We're going to shine a light on interesting topics such as energy harvesting, wireless power transfer, EMI issues, and so much more. Tune in to get technical design tips and applications during your commute, at your desk, or wherever you might be with Worth Electronics' What's Up podcast.